Oh, praise the name of Jesus, my brothers and sisters all over the world. I'm so much happy and so much glorious in the Lord Jesus Christ because of His goodness and mercy in my life. God is amazing, God. Let me tell you, this year, 2023, in accordance to what God spoke to my, heart, to my spirit, to my heart, this is the year of the Holy Spirit, 2023. And also 2024 is the year of the Holy Spirit because God is doing something great. Let me tell you, hey, amazing. Let me tell you, every force and the powers and organization of Satan are falling this year. And the sons of God are arising to power no matter what. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is in church in full control. Now, the Spirit of God has put into my heart to speak about that spirit. The spirit of hypocrisy. Let me tell you, hypocrisy is the most dangerous and evil spirit under the planet of the earth, under the sun. This spirit is so much powerful and so evil and this spirit works in many leaders and also in persons in marriages in government in the churches how do you spot that spirit let me tell you my brothers if you want to spot a person who is full of hypocrisy in the government in the church and also in the society everywhere in the world then you will pay close, uh, close attention to what I'm saying to you. Because that is what the Spirit of God is telling me. In order for you to be aware and to ask God to protect you from them. Because if not, it is amazing. They will going to destroy you completely. They don't have mercy. That's the first. They don't have what? Mercy. They are killers. Second character, they are deadly killers. First of all, they don't have mercy. Secondly, they are deadly killers. Thirdly, hypocrisy spirits or anyone who is possessed by that spirit, he is a good person when it comes to relationship, but hiding the, the real him or her. In the group or in the church or in the society. What am I saying? They are full of envy. And they will always look for the opportunity to destroy you. To kill you. Whether through lies. Whether through poison. Whether through uh, setting people and attack you and to kill you. This is how they do. They will befriend you. They are closer to you. But when the time will come. You will see their two colors. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So this is what they, they possess. And uh, lastly, God himself kills them. <laughs> Physically and spiritually. Because they're pe those people, even if they're in church, they are anti-Holy Spirit and anti-Holy Ghost. Let me tell you. Now, let me reveal to you one in the... Let me start with government. And I'm speaking through the word of God. The word of God says that uh, David, this king David, the man after God's heart, God gave him a lot of favor and grace. And the one that was king over him was called Saul. And when Saul saw the favor and the grace and the wisdom of God in that person, you know what happened? Saul was looking to kill him. Saul was like his friend, like his father. But in heart, Saul was, was looking to kill him. And he attempted several times to kill Mr. David. Even David was a very young person. But because David trusted in God, God saved David from the hand of Saul until God himself killed Saul. In the battle, but because he was anointed, David did not raise his hand and kill him or, or try to destroy him, even if God gave David opportunity to do so. And some, you know, like uh, the wife, the, the real wife of David, the first one, I understanding, the first one, 
wife. You know, David, Saul plotted how to kill him by telling him to go to the camp of the Philistines and to give him, you know, the foreskin. Huh? It was hundreds, I think so, yes, the, uh, the foreskin, in order, uh, and, 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 and King Saul was saying he wanted to revenge, are you understanding? To revenge himself against the Philistines. So he sent David to kill people and, uh, in order for him to have the foreskin then uh, um, of those uh, uncircumcised Philistines to be as um, dowry. But in his heart he wanted to kill him. But God saved King David. You see what God did? He saved King David. So for you to be able to be safe against or under the leaders who is practicing or who is an hypocritical, you know, leader, hypocrite leader, only trust in the Lord. That is the only thing which I'll tell you. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, that is in the government. There are many, even to the, our government today. That's why God wants you to listen to this message very keenly and to apply it because there are many hypo, hypo, uh, hypocritical leaders and persons around you in the government. Be aware. Now, let's go to the church. To the church. You see, uh, we have a priest in the name of Eli. His sons were evil and they were making sacrifices in the, you know, you know, no, during the sacrifices, the sons of Eli, the sons of Eli, when the women were coming to the church, to the synagogue, at that time, you know, the law in the, you know, in the, in, in the law of Moses. So these two sons were having intercourse sexual relationship with the women and God was angry but Eli knew these things God warned him and he was a priest he was like today let's say a prophet or a pastor or an evangelist he was a great leader but Eli did not you know uh, expel them or take them out of the services of God even if they were evil. He, Eli knew that, but he practiced hypocrisy. That is being a hypocrite. Hypocritic, uh, hypocrite uh, he, was, he was a hypocrite, yeah. This is what I want, I want to say. So, we know what God that did? God killed Eli. And God killed his two sons. Phinehas and Ophni, I think, like, the, the, these two gentlemen, if I'm not wrong, the name. And, you know, God killed him. Because a hypocritical person... God himself kills. That is not a human being. Because they will never allow the Holy Spirit to take control. Therefore, God takes them away. <laughs> that is in the setup, church setup. And also in a ministry, we have one. Jesus had one of his disciples and also an apostle in the name of Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot was eat, you know, eat with Jesus, walked with Jesus. He was taking care of finances, but Judas is the one who betrayed Jesus with even a kiss. That was a real friend because Jesus could not allow this person even to kiss him, but he kissed him. That kiss was not a good <laughs> kiss. It, 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 it had a hidden agenda. When Jesus was arrested, remember. So, a person who is a hypocrite is the deadly killer, dangerous person. And you know how he died? He killed himself, hanged himself, even if Jesus died for the sins of God on the cross. Jesus forgave all of us, and even Judas was forgiven. But the hypocrite, uh, the, the uh, hypo hypocrite person could never could never allow himself to see the light. So he died. He is in hell because when you kill yourself, you, hell is your destination. So please, 
be aware of such demons among the governments, among the churches of Jesus Christ, among the ministry. If you are having a ministry, may you ask God to give you spiritual eyes, a spiritual understanding to be aware of those people. Because you are a child of God. A child of God not kill, do not uh, set up his friend, do not do things. You know, those hypocrite people, they don't have mercy. They will take your job. They will take your family. They will kill your wife. They will kill your husband. That is how they are. I've finished. Now you have learned something. And if this video has been of a great beneficial to you, make sure you pass, you... You, you share it to many, to millions of people in order for them to be aware of such demons among brethren, among families, among the church, among the government, in order for them to become people who trust and always trust in the Lord Jesus. Thank you for listening to this message. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as in the days of old, you are the only person, O oh God, who dealt with hypocrite peoples, you took them away because they don't have the hearts to repent even if you would speak to them they are anti-Holy Ghost, they are anti-Holy Spirit, they are anti-Jesus, anti-God. So God, this year 2023 and 2024, do not allow any hypo uh, person who is filled with this demonic spirit of hypocrisy to, to be a leader no, normal. May you take them, take, take them away from leadership, if he's in leadership, or in the, take them away. And may you raise the sons of God, the real sons of God, who will have mercy to lead God's people, and who are for the Holy Spirit, not anti-Holy Spirit, who are for Jesus Christ, not anti-Jesus Christ, and who is, or who are, who is for God the Father. So thank you, God, because you've done all the praise and honor back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I pray with thanksgiving. And I decree and declare the rise of the sons of God start this January all over the world, in every nations of the earth, for the glory of Jesus. So thank you, God, because you've done all the praise, glory, honor, blessing, adoration to you, my heavenly Father God, I give unto you for this wonderful information which you have given unto me to share to the, to the whole world. In Jesus' name, Son of the living God. Amen.